Now at five, history in the making. For the first time ever, the Indiana GOP convention is being held right here in Fort Wayne. Good evening. This weekend, about 2,000 delegates will pack the Grand Wayne Center to build the Republican Party's platform and elect officials for the November ballot. News Channel 15's Megan Royce joins us live from the Grand Wayne Center. And Megan, things are just getting underway now. Mark, as you can tell, everyone is here. Delegates started checking in at noon, and things are just now getting started. We've heard some mixed reviews today from folks about the convention being held here this year in Fort Wayne. Despite yesterday's news of Fort Wayne being a boring place to be, folks seem to be enjoying their time here in the Summit City. I love to be coming up to Fort Wayne because it's my first time up here. My personal preference would be to have it in Indianapolis simply because I'm from the furthest county in the state of Indiana. It wasn't a big deal. For the state Republican Party and the Summit City, this is history in the making. The local host committee has just rolled out the red carpet uh, to our 2,000 uh, visitors that are going to be coming into the city. Sure, the new venue is exciting for some, but most are ready to get down to business, crafting the party's stance on things like gay marriage. I am a traditional um, man and woman marriage, and um, I'm hoping that we'll get a chance to vote on that soon. My personal opinion is marriage is between a man and a woman. Civil union is between uh, a man and a man and a woman and a woman or whatever alternative there may be. I support traditional marriage between a man and a woman. But most aren't sure how the majority will vote. It could honestly go either way. It just depends on who was picked by the county and who ends up coming. State Republican Party Chairman and Fort Wayne native Tim Berry says they'll also talk about expanding and improving the Healthy Indiana Plan, education, and care for our veterans. It's going to be a great time for delegates to uh, enjoy each other, but enjoy the party and get energized for the fall election. Tomorrow, delegates will vote on who they would like to see on the November ballot. For now, reporting live downtown at the Grand Wayne Center, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.